Hey team, um, we are looking at communication cycle for the six week challenge. And uh, just so everybody knows, the six week challenge is a lead generation tool. Essentially our goal is to get a client to come in with us, experience our awesome customer service and our great classes and our great training, uh, and then convert them into a client. Um, we have a couple different ways we convert them. One is into a six month uh, contract for six on ones. Um, the other is a year long contract for VR work. So the ultimate goal of the six week challenge is to convert the client into, uh, convert the uh, prospect into a client. Um, so just a couple things, communication cycle, who's responsible for it. One, managers for, um, responsible for overseeing the entire communication process. It's really, really important that we um, try to strengthen our communication with each of our clients and get as much feedback from them as possible so we can make the appropriate changes moving forward. Uh, two, the sales leader is essentially the one that is constantly in contact with them because during the six week challenge, really you have a conversion piece that's gonna take place. And so if they do the initial part with the, um, with the sales um, leader, then the halfway check-in would be with the sales leader, and then the final conversion part would be with the sales leader. Now the sales leader can have other people helping them out, um, but that is the essential role of the sales leader. They're really the ones that are constantly in communication with each of the um, prospects going through the six-week challenge, and they're the ones that are giving them the information for the next step that's gonna take place. So if they just signed up, you know, two weeks in, they're gonna then get an email for the halfway point conversion, or the halfway point way um, check-in, and then they'll go from the halfway point check-in to the final way out schedule, and then they'll get their before and after pictures finalized then, and then the, the conversion contract piece will take place. Um, and then the last person that really is um, in the daily constant communication with, um, the prospects are is the accountability coaches. Accountability coaches' primary role and responsibility is to um, respond to text messages via Scipio, if that's the case, although we are converting to another system. But anyways, to respond um, to any of the messages that are coming in for questions about nutrition, questions about training, questions about uh, mind-body, questions about trainerize, et cetera. It's just to make sure that they know that we're 100% behind them as far as customer service goes. So the other thing that the accountability coaches' primary role is, is reaching out to a client if they're not getting the right results, if they um, aren't showing up to class, if they aren't checking in. Um, we want to make sure that they come in and use the program. We want them to be successful. If we get them to be successful, they stay with us. Um, so that, those are the really, that's the communication cycle. Um, those are the leaders of the communication cycle. Really important for us all to know that. If something gets escalated up, if there's a problem, it's going to go to the gym manager. Uh, if it's just daily communication, it's going to be the accountability coaches talking about nutrition, fitness, answering those types of questions. And then the sales leader is um, in charge of basically the communication all the way through the whole cycle of the six week and then the conversion at the end. I um, hope that helps and um, look forward to seeing you guys around the portal. Thank you.